Hello, I am Ellie Shi, and I am currently a freshman in Basis Independent Silicon Valley, along with Dr. Bai from the Next Gen Intelligent Science Training and Dr. Qian Wang and Shu Rei from Ohio State University. I worked on our project titled "The Bioinformatics Analysis of MicroRNAs and Targeting Genes in Ovarian Cancer Stem Cells." As a small introduction, cancer stem cells, or CSCs, are a small population of cancer cells that are a reason for cancer initiation and tumor relapse. MicroRNAs are small non-coding RNA molecules that bind to the three prime UTR region of mRNAs. It is also believed from recent studies that they have a role in regulating cancer stem cells through oncogenic signaling pathways. Our main goal in this research project is to find new gene targets and also pathways related to cancer cell stemness. In a previous study, the expression profiles from ovarian cancer stem cells and bone cancer cells were taken and filtered by greater than two-fold change and also less than 0.05 p-value. By the comparison between cancer stem cells and bone cancer cells, we are able to look into cancer cell stemness. 12 upregulated and 5 downregulated microRNA satisfied our conditions. This is shown in table 2a. Then, as shown in figure 2b, we took the microRNAs and found their downstream gene targets with three target prediction databases, including target profiler, mirror DV, and also target scan. We did this because we wanted to eliminate some possible false positives and also confirm the results we got. MicroRNA TAR, which is a bioinformatics tool, further confirmed the genes. The microRNA gene pairs that did not have a negative correlation were removed from our list. There were 273 final downregulated microRNA target genes and 444 upregulated microRNA target genes. Using the 273 downregulated microRNA target genes, we conducted several bioinformatics analyses. We only used the downregulated microRNA target genes because we were interested in examining cancer cell stemness. First, we used David to conduct a biological process analysis and also keg pathway analysis. We noticed that the axon guidance pathway, which is also present in both David analyses, though since the gene count in the geoterm is low, it is not present in the graph of figure 3a, was extremely statistically significant in the keg pathway analysis as it had a very low p-value. So we paid special attention to the genes in that we found in the David analyses. The third analysis was also quite interesting. We used a PPI, which stands for protein-protein interaction network. And we graphed it by using string and cytoscape. Out of the 273 proteins, 150 were graphed. As you could see, the target gene names are synonymous to their respective protein names. Figure 4b is in fact a close-up of figure 4a, and in it we could see three important hub genes, which are CDC42, Simothria, and Robo1. Those three hub genes are also involved in the axon guidance pathway that was shown in the keg analysis. Figure 4c is a chart depicting the cytohuba scores of the different hub genes, and the columns in the chart are just different methods used to rank the hub genes. The final analysis we did was Kaplan-Meier progression-free survival analysis. We expected that high expression of the axon guidance genes would lead to lower survival probability. Only SIMA4G and ROBO2 did not align with our predictions. In summary, we found 273 novel downregulated microRNA target genes and 444 upregulated microRNA target genes. Of those 273 downregulated microRNA target genes, eight of them were involved in the axon guidance pathway, a pathway that we believe is possibly related to cancer stem cell maintenance. Our PPI analysis, as there were three axon guidance genes that were counted as hub genes, and our geo and keg analyses proved this. Also, from our survival analysis, we found that few genes did not align with our expectations. In the future, we plan to validate the role of the axon guidance pathway in regulating cancer stem cell stemness. Thank you.